again. In this video, we will talk about data gathering and pre-processing of the data. We will go through different techniques which can be implemented to clean the data, which can also be termed as pre-processing of the data. We will go through techniques like lemmatization and stemming. This is a very vital step in the whole process. This step makes sure that the data we will feed to the machine learning algorithms is of good quality, accurate and minimal. We don't want to send the data which is meaningless and which will not contribute to the correct classification. Let's now go through the coding part. I've used a library called Pandas, which is a very handy library when you want to read and manipulate the data. We have the data in the form of a CSV file, which we are using it as an input here. It has got different details of the email, such as subject, body, from, to, and many other different fields. If you see the data frame in its raw format, it looks like this. We have got a subject, we've got the body, we've got from, and many other different fields. But we are only concerned about the body of the email, because that is what we are going to look into, manipulate it, and use it to classify the email. In the next step, I have written down few of the categories here, in which all the emails will be classified. Now jumping straight to the pre-processing of the data, so if you see the body of an email in its raw format, it looks like this. It looks messy. It has slash r slash and few other spaces, few other words which are not relevant when classifying it. So we are going to clean the data here. So if you see here, I've written down the code to remove slash r slash and few extra spaces, removing quotes, lower casing the text so that we do not encounter any case sensitive issues later. I have also written down the list of ignore words which can be ignored from the body of the email. I have removed the punctuation marks because these are also irrelevant when classifying it and also removed the possessive nouns. So if you look at the data now, it looks a lot cleaner. But again, there's a lot of scope here. We can make it better and we can remove few other things which can be more accurate. So we are going to use a technique called lemmatization. Lemmatization is the process of converting a word to its base form. For example, children will be converted to child, apples will be converted to apple. So NLTK has got a library called WordNet Lemmatizer, which we can use to convert all the words in the body of the email to its base form. So this is a code snippet for converting all the words into its base form. So if we look the data now, it looks like this. So I'll tell you how it works. So for example, if you see in the previous data, one of the word is teams, another is pasting. So after using the lemmatization, the word has converted into team and pasting has converted to paste. So this is how we convert all the words into its base form. NLTK also provides a corpus of stop words. So by default, it has words like I, me, we, ours, but it also provides a way to add stop words. So it is generally a list of the words. So what I've done is I have used the data from the CSV file, like who is sending the email, who is receiving the email and removing it from the body of the email. So if you see, I've used the data from the from column to column CC column, and I've removed them from the body of the email. So this is how we clean the data. We discussed about few techniques like lemmatization, stop words, removing irrelevant stuffs. In the next video, we will talk about training of the data and also about the use and importance of feature algorithm like TFIDF. So see you in the next video. Thank you.